Yeah, I started gambling at university like a lot of people um, as a bit of fun with my mates. Didn't think it was a problem because I had the time and money to do it because I was actually playing professional cricket at the time. Um, and then unfortunately that ended um, and I think that was a catalyst for, for my gambling spiralling out of control because I found that really difficult to deal with but I didn't want to admit that to people I didn't want to let on that I was struggling because I'd never struggled with anything I thought showing vulnerability was weakness and, and gambling started to play a different part of my life and then when I moved into the city I was working in insurance that, that was when it really did get out of control. I had a huge win in 2010, as I write about in the book, and that completely changed my relationship. Um, we're gambling, and I guess you could call me a high flyer at that time, but when I lost all that money very quickly um, and started descending into debt, I was anything but. Tomorrow's a big day, because tomorrow is four years since my last bet. Um, yesterday was, was my birthday, and I was in Marlow of all places. Happy birthday. You should Thank have come you. and hunted us down, <laughs> no. man. Uh, and it's weird because my birthday now feels so insignificant because two days later is that anniversary, which is which is huge for me. I think when I really look back and I reflect on those four years and what I've achieved, that's when I'm really proud. Um, other people have forgiven me a lot quicker than I think I'll ever forgive myself, but that's happening slowly. Um, and yeah, the book... Um, is is something now that I look back on with a huge amount of pride. I think the response that I've heard from people, including yourself, just makes it all worthwhile. Um, and if it helps one person, it's worth it. But I, I think and hope it's it's helping more than that.